Are you hungry? I know I am. I'm actually starving. Let's check out this place here. Liz Frozen Yogurt, located here inside the Mirage Resort and Casino. So come on with me for a brand new episode of Chow Time with JP. So I got myself the New Yorker, which is sweet cream cheese filling, sliced strawberries, raspberry sauce, and it's gonna have powdered sugar and whipped cream on top. And they're gonna make it for us right here. We're gonna watch them do it. Go for it. What type of batter is that? Like, what's that consist of? The batter, like, what does that consist of? It's like thinner to pancake, yeah. Yeah. But it's like a sweeter. It's like it's like a pancake in the bottle. Okay. Because if you make it too thin, you can make it in the bottle. Yeah. Okay. But the bottle has a different thing to make some. Gotcha. Now you said this is like a very thin pancake batter, sweeter tasting. You can make it a little bit thicker where they do make waffles as well. But this is a sweet, very thin pancake type material, <laughs> if you want to call it that, food. And we're gonna get the strawberries in there, cream cheese. Look at that, it's like perfection. Mine would be, like I said, spill over the edge, burned, holes. It wouldn't be very good. There's the cream cheese. And goes the raspberry. It's actually puffing up from the heat. How about the strawberries? So, there's my healthy food, strawberries. Everything else, not so much. A little more sauce. And I'm gonna get some whipped cream and powdered sugar. The creamy stuff. For here is good. Yes. Thank you very much. You too. All right. So as you saw, they opened that video. They made my crepe for our dining option for today. So this is Blizz frozen yogurt here, right here in the Mirage Hotel and Casino Resort. And the way it works is you grab a cup and you have four different steps to get your yogurt. You know, fill it up, whatever flavor you want, multiple flavors, get your toppings, and then pay for it. But they do have a menu with other stuff, including juices, coffee, smoothies, crepes, acai bowls, Belgian waffles. And I went for the New Yorker, which is strawberries, cream cheese, raspberry sauce, and whipped cream and powdered sugar on it. So if you ever had a crepe before, I will do my best to describe it for you. As I already mentioned, the gentleman told me it's like a very thin pancake batter. It's on the sweet side. So I don't know how they make it, what ingredients are in it, but it smells good, looks good. And I am hungry. This is actually my breakfast for the day. I just got done doing a pool video. So let's try the whipped cream just alone. Very thick and creamy sweetness to it. I'm gonna cut this up first. It's kind of a, a messy food item, but in a good way though, you know, it, so much goodness no matter what fork full you get you're gonna have something very tasty here big chunks of strawberries so i'm gonna do a little dipping first
strawberries are chilled. They taste fresh. Let's get a little bit of everything here. So I got the crepe, strawberry, whipped cream. I'll give you your first bite. All right, here we go. This is not right. It shouldn't taste this good. <laughs> I know these are not very healthy, except for the strawberries, but it is so good. The crepe is still warm. It's not crunchy at all. It's, you know, thin and flexible, which is supposed to be, but you can taste, you know, the flavoring of it if I eat it alone. Just as he described, it's like a sweet pancake. Very thin though. But no matter if you eat this by itself, with or without the whipped cream, with or without the sauce, I mean, the raspberry, strawberry, and cream cheese just goes together. Perfect combination. Now, this did cost me, I believe, $13.95. Water, which is their own water brand, Blizz Frozen Yogurt Water, is $2.75. Everything came to $18.08 which isn't bad. I mean, considering we're in a big mega resort in Vegas, things are on the higher price than the water is probably the surprising cost. I thought it was gonna be about five bucks, but 275, 1395. This is a good sized portion too. You know, it's a lot of food here. So I have no problem paying that when it's very enjoyable. And it's a good sized portion. Otherwise I would be complaining about it. It's just so good though. I mean warm sweet just like this makes you feel good i don't know how else to describe it just a very enjoyable you know item here and whether you have it for breakfast lunch dinner dessert just for a snack there's no long time they also do have breakfast crepes too they have a morning glory crepeza benedict texan alfredo fitness they have all kinds so there's even healthy versions too, but you know me. I kind of shy away from healthy stuff. Have you guys ever had a crepe before? If so, tell me what kind you had and what you thought of it. Or do you know how to make your own? I don't know if you can make it without that plate thing. You'd have to have like a really big pan. Oh, actually, my Blackstone griddle would probably work. That's a big flat surface. Just have to get that little tool to kind of spread it out. But yeah, if you have a big griddle, that would work. They have that special hot plate designed specially for these. Very, very good. All right, I'm going to finish up. I got a bit more to go here. And then I will give you my final thoughts at the end. There we have it. Clean Plate Club. So that was the New Yorker here at the Blitz Frozen Yogurt Place. The yogurt is not for me, but crepes definitely are. Like I said, you could choose sweet or savory, either one, whatever your choice is, whatever your liking is. The New Yorker though, if you like sweet and strawberries and you know raspberry, definitely try that one out. Otherwise, like I said, I'd like to hear from you if you know how to make your own. Or whoever had one somewhere else, let me know how you enjoyed it. I give it you know, two thumbs up and two toes up. Both of my big toes up. Very enjoyable, really hit the spot, and it's gonna just give me a, uh, going for the rest of the day here with a uh, full stomach and not taking too much out of the bank. 18 bucks, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll pay that any day of the week for such a delicious treat here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Child Time with JP. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, excuse me, gassy, I'll see you in the next video.